Hi, it's me again, and you know I like talking to you about the TV license letters. Well, this isn't that, but it is TV license post. And loads of you have been sending me a copy of this letter that you all leaflet, whatever you want to call it, that's landed on your doorstep, and you've sent it over to me to take a look. So thank you for sending that. If you want to send me something, you'll find the contact details below. You can all send me whatever you want to send me down there that you've received. But let's take a look at this, because it's really giving you the hard sell, isn't it? Let's take a look. So it's full colour. A5 leaflet, which wouldn't have been that cheap to produce, really, would it? I've printed leaflets before. I know how much glossy, full-colour A5s cost, so lots of TV licence money being wasted there. But let's take a look anyway. Number 16, the people's rules of live TV. So is this going to be a series? I would like to see what numbers 1 to 15 were. If you've got one of these and it's got a different number to number 16, do let me know, because I'd be interested to see what that one says. Be there for every moment, love live sport with a TV license. Well, you can only watch live sport with a TV license, but I think it's a bit of a piss take that lots of people pay for like a Sky Sports subscription, things like that. I mean, I would pay for a Sky F1 subscription if I could, if I had a TV license, because that's my thing. I enjoy that very much, but I can't. But None of the other channels get any money from the TV license, and yet you can't watch a football game or Formula One or whatever's you know your flavour on Sky Sports without paying for a TV license, which is just ridiculous in the first place. Absolute joke, isn't it? Let's have a look at the back of this flyer. The ultimate guide to live sports. Emotional victories, debatable penalties, last-minute tries, sixes and holes in nearly one await. And nothing beats watching them as they happen. Here's a selection of great live sport coming up. So what I find interesting in this is they're not really advertising the sport that the BBC have because they don't have a lot of sport, do they? Bit of tennis, a few England football matches, probably a bit of golf, I think. I don't know. Or does Sky Sports own all the golf now? I don't know. Don't watch it. But yeah, let's have a look here. So Premier League football. Can you watch live Premier League football on BBC? No is the answer to that. Ryder Cup golf, probably not. I would imagine that's Sky Sports. The F1 Russian Grand Prix. I know for a fact you can't watch that live on BBC. London Marathon is probably theirs, yeah. More golf. Rugby, I'm guessing Super League is by the shape of the ball. Not an expert. Tennis finals, they have some tennis, I guess, don't they? I just think it's an absolute piss take that they're advertising live sport you can watch with your TV license even though you still have to pay a subscription to watch these sports. By paying for your TV license, you don't get to watch these sports on the BBC, which is where your money should go for the things that you want to watch, isn't it? But you still have to buy a TV license to watch Sky Sports, which I think is the, the biggest scam I've heard of in a very, very long time. What else does it say here? If you already have a TV license, you're covered to watch live on any channel or service, including Sky, BT, Amazon Prime, ITV or BBC, but if you don't have a license, you'll need to buy one. So I wanted to talk about this for two reasons. One, I think it's a massive piss take that they're advertising their TV license on the back of sports that the TV license doesn't go to pay for. You have to have a separate subscription for them. And even if you pay the separate subscription, you still have to pay the TV license even though they don't get the money. Massive, massive fucking con. And also, how much did it cost to make these leaflets? Full colour, two-sided, Glossy A5 flyers aren't cheap to make, especially at the quantities they make them. What a waste of money. If you still pay for your TV licence, how? That is just a massive scam. What a joke. What do you think of this flyer? Did you get numbers 1 to 15? Let me know below. And if you get any ones like a, like a number higher than 16, like newer ones that come through, do let me know and do send them through to me. You'll find my details below. I look forward to seeing them. And I look forward to seeing you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.